In your 1995 Boya lecture, you said, I am a briar who chooses to stay on the outside because only from the margins can you see the whole field. But you're also a social activist. So can you tell us about your theory of change? And what advice do you have for other progressives about how um, best to achieve change? That's a quote from Hannah Arendt's work, looking at what she sees as the pariahs and the parvenus, the people who are the outsiders, who actually are not included, and the people who are included, but have to give up much of who they are. So the pariah in this sense is the outsider, but she talked about the conscious pariah who sits on the edge and sees what happens. So I'm not a person who ever felt I very strongly belonged anywhere. I was a refugee child, a refugee from Hitler. So I was always an outsider in that sort of sense. That doesn't mean that I don't feel I've got a commitment to change. In fact, it increases my sense that I've got a commitment to change, to mend the world, to do the things that need to be done. But I'm also very wary of being an insider in the sense that I've seen too often that people who are part of movements, groups, etc., get inhibited by the group, get directed into what they should do, how they should think, what they should act. I think it's important if we're going to change society that we have a mix between insiders, outsiders, commentators, pariahs, if you like. Because one of the problems we have, both on the progressive and the non-progressive side of politics, is far too often you have to do what the group wants you to do, rather being a, than being able to act on your own conscience and your own things. So we need the debates, the dissent, and the change. Otherwise, we're not going to get anywhere. At least we're not going to get to the sort of thing I want to do, which is a, a more civil society, a truly civil society, where we can deal with dissent and differences.